Yo, my dudes, welcome to the final chapter of this epic combi voyage. In the first three videos, we learned how to set up our overall sound design and how to install a second keyboard to be controlled via MIDI. We also learned how to split each sound into its own designated area and how to layer in some harmonies when needed. In this video, we're gonna fine tune everything as well as learn how to access an extra hidden layer of sound via external. But before we get into the details, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share this content if you find it valuable. Sick, sick, sick. Hey guys, I'm at the console here, and let's go ahead and start fine tuning our combi. So the way we're gonna fine tune everything is by adding some master effects to some of the sounds. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of reverb to the sounds in our top board. Because right now, they sound a little dry for my tastes. And the way we can do that is by going into menu, scrolling all the way down to the M effects, so that's the master effects, and in order to add a reverb, we can't do that in the first slot um, since they only offer the reverb and delay in the second slot. But once you go down to the second slot, you can just scroll down until we get to reverb hall 2, which is kind of my go-to reverb. Reverb 2 hall, there we go. And we want to turn everything up to 127. And then we want to make sure that it's enabled. Just like that. Unfortunately, it's still dry. Well, the reason is because we have to actually enable the send as well as the return. So let's go ahead and exit out of here, leaving everything the way. We set it and then we go to menu, scroll down to scroll down to FX routing, put enter, and then we want to go one page over to the send. Now we can control the sends for each timbre or channel that we have uh, sounds programmed to. So we said we wanted to do the first three channels, so that would be my uh, flute, my vibes, and my gong. So what we want to do is we want to go to send two because send two is going to line up with the second slot of the master effect. And we just want to crank that up all the way. So now um, you can hear reverb on the vibraphone. If we go over to the second slot or the second timbre, you can hear it on the uh, flute. And if we go to the third one where our gong is, just turn that all the way up to 127. And now we have reverb on all three sounds on the top board. Now let's say we want to add a little bit of chorus effect to our pad. We can do that in the master effects under the first slot. So in the master effects, we're going to go to our first slot and then I'm going to go down to a random chorus. Let's see. Stereo chorus, that looks good. I'm going to crank up the return all the way. And then I'm going to go to the little slot where you can enable it. As far as I know, we should have nothing really having chorus on it since we haven't enable the send. So let's go over to the sends and go back to menu, FX routing, enter. So we want to go to the timbre where our brass pad is located, which is number four. And we want to go to the send one, since that controls the chorus. Crank it all the way up. That sounds nice and chorusy to me. kind of compare like what it sounds like before or completely dry we can just go all the way back to the master effects menu go to this little enable toggle thing and uh, this is with chorus without chorus so you can kind of tell the difference 
of course, if you wanted to mess with the actual core settings, you can go over a page and you can mess with the wet dry. Um, let's see, should be down here. And then you can set it higher if you want. Let's say 75, 25. That's really coarsey. So if we crank it all the way to wet, it's still pretty coarsey. Of course, it's not going to get any less. So you get the idea. I'm not going to actually mess too much with the settings of each effect since I think they sound fine. But just so you know, you can go even deeper into the cross and tweak all kinds of settings when it comes to the effects themselves. One last tip is like, say you wanted more reverb on one instrument and less on another. Well, instead of adjusting the overall level in the returns, you can go to the sends since each one of those sends is um, assigned to its own timbre. So let's say we wanted less reverb on our flutes. We can just turn it down to like 60. And now there's slightly less reverb on the flutes. So that's just one way you can fine tune the effects even further. All right, so once we've dialed in our master effects, it's time to start programming our hidden layer of sound that we can access via external modulation. What do I mean by external modulation? Basically, any controller that's outside of the cross that can sort of give it an instruction. What we're gonna be using is the damper pedal as our external modulator. So you just wanna make sure you have a compatible damper pedal with the cross. I'm using a Yamaha FC4. You just pop that bad boy into the damper slot and you're good to go. Now just a side note about using damper pedals. Um, you may need to reverse the polarity under the global settings. So just keep that in mind if it doesn't work right away. But once we have our damper pedal plugged in, you can tell it's working when you hold it down and you can hear the note sustain. Before we jump into the programming, I just want to give you a quick demo as to what our goal is. So obviously normally when you hold down a damper pedal it sustains the notes out, but we actually want to um, instruct the cross to add a layer when we depress the damper pedal down. And so what I did was I added an extra layer of marimba to the flute patch. So with the damper in its normal state, not depressed, it's just gonna sound like this. Now I'll press down the damper. So this allows us to just add an extra layer in on the fly. The one downside to this is you're not gonna be able to sustain the notes, but for this song, there's no point in doing that. So it works out pretty well. Okay, so to achieve this effect, there's a few steps involved. The first thing we wanna do is we want to dismantle the damper effect from all of the flute timbers, as well as the new timbre we're about to uh, build. So the way you do that is you go into menu and you go down to MIDI filter and you see how damper is sort of highlighted there. We just want to um, go to our initial flute, which is number two, take that off. And then we have our additionals that are on seven through 11. And then our new timbre that we're gonna assign our marimbas are gonna be on number 12, so we just wanna get rid of it. That way, we're not gonna be sustaining any notes on any of those timbres. All right, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and assign our new timbre to number slot number 12. And I'm just gonna do bell 32, Mondo Rimba. Ta-da. And you won't be able to hear it yet because we need to go to the timbre menu and select the correct MIDI channel. There we go. And we just want to go to one. Since all of our top board settings are assigned to MIDI channel one. Okay, now we can start to hear it, but it's sort of an octave too low. So easy fix is you just go back over to pitch, transpose it up one full octave. Now we have our new timbre ready to go. 
um, it's in the correct pitch as far as where it needs to be. And then now we need to actually enable the external modulation. So, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna actually use the internal effects or the IFX feature of the cross. And if we go to menu and go down to effects routing, you kinda wanna start here under the IFX. So right now the all five slots are completely open. So we just wanna enable the first slot and then go ahead and select stereo compressor just the next one down or the very first one and that's all you have to do there so once we've selected our effect we need to assign it to the timbre which we want to use so that's going to be number 12 so if you go to this screen the fx routing bus screen and if you highlight the timbre number 12 which is where our mondo rimba is located and then you just move this wheel one notch to the right and then it automatically just clicks in and assigns it to the uh, stereo compressor. All right, cool. There's only one more step, um, and that's going to be going to the effect settings themselves. So if you just scroll over a few times, you'll get to the actual stereo compressor effect settings. And here's where we're going to have the damper pedal control the sound. So if you go all the way down, to the out level and set it to zero. This is going to be the default. So when the damper pedal is fully up in its sort of normal state, you won't hear any marimba because of this output level being at zero. So the next thing you want to do is you want to assign a source. So you scroll over, hit enter, and you can go down all the way to 64 damper. Hit enter. Now we've assigned it a modulator. And then the next thing you want to do, the very last step, is to go to the amount and just give it like a value of around 25. So now you'll see that when you hold the pedal down, it actually kicks in. And when you have the pedal up in its normal state, there is no marimba, marimba, marimba. There is no marimba. And that, folks, is how you use external modulation to add in a hidden layer of sound to the cross. Well, that wraps us up to the very, very, very end of this epic saga. I just want to thank all my Core Cross homies for liking and supporting me in my endeavors and all of you who joined me on my epic combi quest. It meant a lot to me. Really. I hope everyone learned something new, at least one thing. And feel free to please leave a comment if you have any questions about how this stuff works. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, feel free to hit me up on my social platforms. We got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you know where to find me, Eric Jung Music. If you're curious to figure out more about me, I've got some musical projects. I've got a Yacht Rock cover band called the Sunset Grooves. I also do a solo synth project called Dream Commander. You can check it out on Bandcamp over at dreamcommander.bandcamp.com. All right, you guys, until next video, keep on synthing and keep on crossing.